Hey people, it's the Pilgrim, and welcome to the Valheim Hearth and Home update. We've actually got a saddle for the locks. This is just one of the coolest things I've found up to now. I put it on him and he's just stamping around the forest like a tank, taking on trolls and everything. And I just wanted to do a quick video about like how to build the saddle and, and what the sort of mechanics are like while you're running around on him. The guys at Iron Gate Studio have done a really superb job with this update. Seriously, very impressed. We've got a whole new structure set, upgrades for the cauldron, a ton of new food, weapons, just just unbelievable. Like I really didn't expect so much all at once. And I genuinely didn't expect to get any type of mount until much further into the game after it had been updated you know, a good few times. But this is gonna be awesome, you know, with a few of you just like traveling around on it and it just makes travel a lot easier. But yeah, I'll uh, we'll we'll go and check him out and I'll explain a few things. Right, building the saddle is simple enough. You just need some leather scraps, linen thread, and black metal. Go to the forge, and there you go, lock saddle. You need 10 leather scraps, 20 linen thread, and 15 black metal, and you've got it. I'm not 100% sure what actually unlocked the saddle. I placed a cartography table, which is another new item and the forge down and it just unlocked a slew of new gear you know all the new building structures and everything and the lock saddle was in there with it yeah to place the saddle just jump upon his back press e he sorted called this guy big bert yeah so i think when once i placed the cartography table that unlocked the saddle because that's like where you can go and um show people where you've been and, and marks on the map and, and sort of share it with your friends while you're in game so i'd assume that go along with so, you know the new travel mechanics and having a mount this is the gatehouse this is the final part of my town that i've got to do a video for and i'm going to totally refurbish it with all the new um, structure items that have come with the half and home update and there is some awesome gear in there like there's loads of um viking knot uh sort of details and designs on, on a lot of the woodwork it's all like black and it just it just does look really cool we've got a couple of new adornments as well uh, what was it the wolf and the crow but yeah I'll go, I'll go through the building stuff yeah in another video yeah so it's got a pretty good walking animation and there's his like full speed animation he's just like charging like a bear through the forest and you smash through most small trees and takes a couple of runs at a big tree to knock it over but yeah they did they really done a good job with that looks awesome and he's got a swimming animation as well you can't swim too far it really drains your stamina a lot and he's got quite a large stamina pool but it takes a long time to regenerate and i think that's just because of the sheer size of him you gotta feed him up you do need cloud berries still I'd, I'd, uh, take a few trips to the plains and really stock up on them if you're going to be like you know traveling around pretty far with him but yeah you can see there the water swimming really drains his stamina if you go too far out as well and the stamina the stamina runs out um, he becomes frightened and he starts losing health a, a pretty significant tick. So yeah, be really careful when you're swimming. If you're travelling pretty far, try and find something like this. I've not actually tried getting him on a boat yet. I don't know if that can be done. And then once you get into combat with him, it's just literally hold on tight and just let him do his thing. He's got a massive stomp and he bites and yeah, just annihilates these little tribes of dwarves with with ease it does feel strange not sort of directly controlling his attacks but you get used to it pretty quick yeah he's frightened just give him a pet and a bit of cloud better cheer him up yeah it's just, just he is just a big all-terrain vehicle you can get around anywhere really and yeah i found a a troll and I thought I'll, go, I'll give him a chance see what happens and that stamp does a lot of damage you see the trolls hitting as well and that shield comes up there with the little sort of health meter going down I'm not 100% sure what that was doing I'm not too sure how much damage he was doing to me but you can see he's not took a, a ton off the locks really couple of big hits there we go he's doing some damage now that bite does a lot more damage than the stamp I think the stamp well the stamp's obviously a, a bigger AOE 
But the bite he's doing there, look, it's like really tearing him up. There he goes. What have we lost? Less than, what, a quarter health maybe, if that. And I've been fighting dwarves and stuff running through the, through the forest for a while when I found the troll. But, <laughs> it's just, it is a load of fun. I'm, I'm really happy with this thing. It's dead cool. And there we go. A lox with a saddle and the first mount in Valheim. Which again, I genuinely didn't think we were going to get a mount for a good few updates. I really expected us to end up having like a horse or something like that to run around on. But this was a brilliant idea. It's just a beast. There you go guys. Uh, that's your locks with saddle and your new mount. Um, I am going to go and get some building done. And get back to what I usually do. So yeah, thanks to everyone for watching. And thank you to everyone that sort of likes, subscribes, shares the videos and all that sort of stuff. Comments are always great for the YouTube algorithm. If you've got uh, any build you want building or anything like that, just leave us a, a comment and see what I can do. Yeah, I'm going to go and do some more exploring around this new update. It's awesome. Alright guys, I'll catch you later.